hi sweeties how are you all doing welcome to nanya sin if this is your person of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash the subscribe button turn on the notification so you get notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all and i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you for always coming back to watch my videos you all are awesome so today i have something really very hard i want us to talk and that is American has uh, a black sperm donor shortage. Black women are paying the price. I mean, I am going to leave this right here so you all can read it. All right. And um, I am, we're going to go into the video. I am going to drop the videos. We'll go into it and then we'll run the stitches. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. All right. Let's get into it. All right. So uh, this is it. Yeah. You can see it here. Right. And uh, American has a black sperm donor, a uh, donut shortage. Black women are paying the price. And I really don't know how uh, this isn't kind of affecting black women, but you know what? Let's get into the stitches and see what they got to tell us about this. Anyone ready? Let's go. How y'all doing out there in the social media world? It's your uncle, Uncle Spank, with another PSA. Can you believe this right here? They say there's a shortage of black sperm. Black sperm. How is this possible? Have they checked? They haven't checked all the black men that's in America? And there's a shortage of black sperm? There got to be something wrong right here. Where they looking for black? Have you checked the basketball courts? Have you checked the sports clubs? Have you checked? The church. Have you checked down on there on the corner? Have you checked brothers who be sitting over there who are in business? Have you checked the colleges? Have you checked the football field? But trust me, there's a lot of black sperm out there that just ain't looking in the right place. I'm just. Next. Black men aren't applying to be donors for a number of reasons. Um, the fact that they it's been ingrained in them that they are absentee fathers or that they have a bunch of mm. offspring that they don't take care of. And the black men I spoke to, they want to be involved fathers and they see this as procreating without having a relationship with that child. A nationwide black sperm donor shortage and it's having a massive impact on black women. Joining us now with more on the issue at hand is Amber Ferguson with more on this. Amber, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hi, good morning. So I was reading your article and this is such a layered problem, really. It's, it's not so simple. Tell us what's going on. So less than 2% of sperm donors in the U.S. are black. Hmm. And this is putting black women into situational infertility. Because there's such a shortage, it means that black women who are single or in same-sex relationships, they're being forced into a painful choice. Choose a donor of a different race and have a biracial baby or go to unregulated online apps and Facebook groups to find a black donor which comes with its own set yeah. of financial, legal, and health risks. And these are women also who are racing against the clock, right? Yes. Um, just to put things into perspective, I was reading your article, and one woman spent 40 hours mm -hmm. a week yes, it's looking for job. a black donor. It's a full-time job, mm -hmm. essentially, and I think it was a total of 800 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, why is this an issue on the other end? Because you have so many uh, black women, increasingly so, looking for black sperm mm -hmm. donors, and then such a small percentage in terms of what they're looking for. Why is this a problem? Why can't we find black sperm donors? So like you said, this is a really layered issue. Before 2020, it was really rare to see black babies or black families on fertility websites. And it wasn't until 2020 that there was really a thought that black women wanted to mm. get pregnant intentionally. The stereotype was that black women got pregnant accidentally and that they didn't need a black donor, mm. but that was untrue. And black men are applying to be donors for a number of reasons. Medical mistrust, um, the fact that they it's been ingrained in them that they are absentee fathers or that they have a bunch of mm. offspring that they don't take care of. And the black men I spoke to, they want to be involved fathers and they see this as procreating without having a relationship with that child. So what's been the proposed solution? Are they talking about incentives, anything like that? Mm -hmm. 
So cryobanks have been trying, but honestly, they've been passively trying. Mm -hmm. So they do online ads and go to social media, but they're not in the community. They're not at the barber shops. They're not at the HBCUs. And I pressed them on this because they're like, oh, we go to black fraternities. And I said, in, in HBCUs, and I said, okay, well, how? And they're like, we took out a newspaper ad. So they're not mm -hmm. doing much to reach them. But at the same time, the number of Latino donors has increased um, dramatically. So their ads are working and cryobanks have told me, you know, we've done ad campaigns, but it's coming off too urban and it's turning away potential applicants. So what would you say to uh, perhaps men out there, black men out there who are interested in this? Where, where, where do you go? Where do you start? Yes. So go online. And but the thing is, it is such a strict criteria to be a sperm donor. Mm -hmm. You cannot have felony convictions. You need to know three generations worth of your family medical history, which mm -hmm. could be difficult for some. You um, you also can't be gay. And that's a really big one. So how it's um, the FDA regulates tissue donation and how it's written is a man cannot have sex with a man within the last five years. So it doesn't specifically say gay. But one credit bank told me that eliminates 10 percent of its applicants. Um, so it whittles it down. What, what's already mm -hmm. a small number. Yo, this is my message to all the melanated brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? They need us in these streets, bro. They need us in these streets. Now, I, I know they like to they like to make you feel like, you know what I'm saying? You're not needed and shit. You know what I mean? Because they be treating us like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't needed. But we are needed. So right now I'm telling you, we should go on a national uh, boycott. Okay, we are only stroking the best. Okay, because when we when we when we get off, you know what I'm saying? It's not they need us. You can't be out here wasting nuts, bro. All right, so 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 you need to pay attention to this. All my brothers, I'm talking to all my brothers. We we have to be careful. So right now you gotta go through your top ten. If you got a top ten, right, you gotta you gotta take at least five off the top ten. Because every time you give off, you you bust off five nuts, you're you're losing money. You know what I'm saying? Look at this shit, man. So there is power in your balls. And, and, and that is something a lot of us don't understand. You got that there is power in our balls. There is a shortage of us. So there's a shortage of black sperm donors, and this especially hurts black, lesbian, and queer couples. I dropped this podcast episode a few weeks ago, but I'm just now getting around to posting it here. Before the pandemic, between three to 5% of sperm donors were black. It's even less than that now. Why does this even matter? Because most cryobank customers are lesbians followed by single mothers by choice. And most people wanna have children that reflect the family they grew up in or children that share their same racial or ethnic background. One of the women I spoke to is Matt O'Shea. Follow her. She's also on TikTok. She's fantastic. Most of her content is geared towards Black women. But anyway, her and her wife had been trying to have a child for years. Part of the problem was that they couldn't find a Black sperm donor. So what they ended up having to do is use a donor of color. Because of this shortage, many people turn to Facebook groups where they can find a donor often for free. This one, of which I blacked out a lot of information just because, I don't know, but it's not that hard to find. But anyway, this one is geared towards people looking for black sperm donors. But there are possible issues when you skip the cryobank and instead go with a known donor, regardless of whether or not the known donor is a friend or someone you met on Facebook. One of the biggest issues is that legally they may be able to get parental rights depending on the state you live in, regardless of whether or not there's a contract. When you go to a cryobank, you don't have that issue. The other issue with some of the Facebook groups, and this is no shade to those groups, but I've been in some of these groups for a couple of years as I've been researching this story, and in some of the groups, men will often say that they will only give their sperm via natural insemination, as in, you have to have sex with me if you would like my sperm. And something about that just feels super, super predatory. I also dug into how some white women will fetishize mixed babies and will take black sperm despite there already being a shortage, which is a whole other thing in itself. But anyway, you should listen to the episode. Yeah. Oh, I... <laughs> some of this, she's like kind of very funny. The other one was like, bro, the one you on in the street, please be careful, really. So uh, I am going to say that uh, 
the old brothers be careful out there and um yeah just be careful <laughs> i don't know i am still like this is kind of very funny but not funny all right i appreciate you all thank you so much for your support please let me know what you all think in the comment section let's talk about this really i want to talk about this and uh yeah see you all bye for now